Okay. <clears throat> Punishment for sins is not you getting a spanking. Punishment for sins is not you getting in a car wreck, becoming a paraplegic, and your life being ruined. Okay, punishment for sins is not you you having a divorce. Punishment for sins, okay, is not you losing your job. Is not your tire going flat. Punishment for sins is not your uh, something happening, some tragedy happening in your life. Punishment for sins is death. That's the punishment for sins. The death that Jesus died on the cross was the punishment for sins. So you getting a flat tire, or you getting in a wreck, or somebody in your family dying, or your marriage getting messed up, or whatever, that is not punishment for your sins. Just like the guy that was blind. The first thing he said, the, guy, the blind man in the Bible, was, Oh, I'm punished for my father's sins. Okay? We see tragedy. We see anguish in this life we automatically think God is punishing us a lot of people do I find myself I used to find myself in that position 24 7 I thought what's happening now what did I do wrong why is this going on okay but that was before I understand the understood the concept of Jesus already died the death that the sins of my life merited okay it's amazing to me that God is so merciful that we are still walking around okay and are allowed to have a life from the wickedness compared to his glory and his holiness but tragedies in your life <clears throat> that is not punishment for sins. Jesus took the punishment. Okay? That's the, that's the that's the truth right there. Okay. And once you understand that, that can open up a whole new world for your understanding. Once you understand that the punishment has been taken out on our savior 2000 years ago, it's over with. It's over with. Okay? Once you understand that that is a done deal, you can live. You cannot live before you understand what Jesus accomplished. And all these religious people running around, working as hard as they can, and breaking their backs, okay? People that don't understand the gospel, they're working for the wrong reasons. Brothers and sisters, they're 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 killing themselves for the wrong reason. They're killing themselves to get to heaven and avoid hell. They're not they're not killing themselves, running themselves into the ground because they love the Lord. You know, I'm not gonna say that every religious person that doesn't understand doesn't love the Lord, okay? I'm just what I'm saying is the majority of people that don't understand that the work was finished on the cross are working. Okay, they are their works are is fire insurance to keep them from hell. They're not letting the Holy Spirit work through them <clears throat> because they love the Lord and they want to see people saved. It's a whole different realm of why they're they're they are um <clears throat> excuse me. Their motives are not pure. Okay. They are uh they're a slave in the wrong sense okay they're motivated by fear they don't understand the work was finished on the cross that punishment for sins is death okay if anyone really got the punishment for their sins the first time they ever sent everybody would be dead okay but that should tell you one thing that you are still allowed to just walk walk around and breathe and live and sin and you're not dead 
that means somebody took that punishment for you or else it's over so if people would just step back and realize that the punishment for sins was already taken care of that's what Jesus was accomplishing on the cross okay he was punished in our place Okay, penal substitution. Something that the New Agers want to remove from the Bible. They preach against penal st- substitution. That Christ took the wrath of God in our place. And I had a couple videos about that. But it's finished. Things that happen to you in this life is just another another uh, fact of life it's just the way the world is it's just the way it is because we live in a fallen world yeah your tire is going to blow out when you neglect to change it or somebody throws a nail in the middle of the road that's not God that nail didn't fall from heaven you know God didn't throw a nail out in the middle of the road because he's mad at you because you cussed at somebody two hours ago down the road okay it's it's foolishness we need to understand Punishment for sins is already accomplished. It's over with. The death that had to, to happen happened, and the, the one who died is alive. That's Jesus Christ. And if you believe upon him, okay, you can become a new creation. You can have a relationship with Jesus. And it's not a relationship, it's not a slave, wrong idea of slave type relationship. It's, it's the creator of the universe comes to uh, his spirit, the Holy Spirit comes to reside inside of you forever. And God is with you everywhere you go. You can't go anywhere where he is not, like, like the Bible says. Okay, where can I go to be, you know, to hide, to get away from your spirit? You can't go anywhere. God is, God is omnipresent, okay? But He is only inside of His children. He is not inside of every human being who ever lived. That's a universalist uh, lie, okay? But I'm going to end this video, everyone. Love everybody. Uh, I just wanted everybody to know uh, uh, that the punishment for sins is not trials and tribulations in this life. The punishment for sins was death, and that death was taken by Jesus Christ. He died in our place, and He is alive today. Okay? So this distorted view of chastening, okay, can just be moved out of the way because God already settled it on the cross. God bless everybody.